Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to share five fun distort effects and ways to use them in Adobe Premiere. So the first one is lens distortion. Now this could be functional. If I drag this onto the clip, you'll see it pops up in the effects control panel. Here under lens distortion, we can see all of the different parameters we can adjust and we can stack and arrange the effects. So if I take the curvature, and I did that. This one might be for fixing certain wide angle lenses that had curvature on it. We can center and make, th make sure things are aligned again. However, we can also use this as a creative effect if we want to add distortion and bubbling around the edges. So we can do cool things like this. And again, if you wanted to animate anything rather than just keep it static, you can always click on the stopwatch icon It'll add a keyframe wherever your playhead is at. And you can move those keyframes around or move to other positions and create different keyframes back and forth. So if I were to play that back, the clip is also moving, the camera's moving, but we're also getting some different curvature strengths and playing around with stuff like that. Another cool distortion one we have is twirl. This one just allows us to kind of twist and warp around the pixels in the middle of the frame or wherever you want really. But by default, we have the angle and we can turn that up or down and it just kind of twirls the center into a spiral. Now, if you pull it too far out of the edges, you'll notice that you get these black areas where the clip just kind of ends. There's nothing, there's no layers behind it. So you can always lower the radius of the clip or the twirl to be smaller and that will keep it closer to the center if you don't want that stuff happening around the edges. And you can also change the center, whether it's on the left or right. So the cool part about twirl is if you do have a moving clip, things will move through that vortex kind of and create their own cool effects. A third cool one we have is the mirror effect. This one's really fun and especially if you stack it, it can be really fun. So we're probably all familiar with some sort of reflective mirror effect in our editing programs. Here you can choose the reflection angle. So just a 90 degree straight angle will go through the center and that creates a cool kaleidoscope type of mirror effect. And if I'm ever in the program window and I have my selection tool active, I can always usually for most of these effects drag around a point and that will allow me to change the reflection center. You can also do that just by the X and Y sliders for position, but sometimes it can be more intuitive to drag and drop with your mouse. So I can do like a reflection 90 degrees, and then I can even add another mirror. So stack it on top, and this time do something like a 45 or 180 degree angle. And I can move this one around. So you can create kaleidoscope type of effects or just reflections and cool mirror effects. A fourth one we have is the offset effect. So if I drag this onto the clip, it allows me to take the entire image, kind of tile it on itself and shift it over. So I can just shift the center of this image and you can just get an idea of what's happening here. I can do that vertically or horizontally. So we've kind of changed the edges and the center of the image. And one way that this can be cool is if we animate it. So whenever you want to reset anything on your effects, you can always just hit this button here. It'll reset that specific parameter. So I'll reset that back to normal. And then I'll add a keyframe here at the normal position. And then I'll add a keyframe where I've made it kind of go over a bunch of times, almost like some kind of rotating wheel or slot machine type of effect. In fact, I'll just type in like 50,000, I think 32 something thousand is the max you can go, but I want it to rotate very fast or as fast as I can. You'll see that we're constantly getting that shifting of the edge going through the image and along with the mirror reflections that are happening and it already being a really cool video, we get this really crazy looking effect that probably looks like it took a lot more work than it did, especially because the camera and myself was moving and zooming around and spinning around. So a lot of things are happening at once, but they're actually all not that complicated. 
Lastly, we have the wave warp effect. This is actually probably one of my favorite effects in the distort and in Premiere in general, because it's one of the only effects that if we drag it onto the clip, comes built in with its own animation. So this wave will ripple throughout and it's already it automatically has an animation speed. But you can set the amount of wave height, how strong it is, wave width, so how spread apart they are. And also you do get that same black edges that kind of happen with some of the other effects. But if you go to the pinning section and pin all the edges, it'll kind of stretch those, pull those edges back in and you can get that animation without losing the edge information. And another way that you can use this actually as a bonus is also on text. So if I just added some text like distort and I added the wave warp on that text file, this can be a fun and quick way to get a cool animation on some text layers or shape layers without even having to add keyframes. You can adjust just adjust the wave speed for different effects. And really you can take this one in pretty cool different ways. If you adjust the wave type, like instead of just a sine wave, just that's a mathematical type of function, you can do like a noise wave. And now you get this cool cut up glitchy noise text rather than like the wavy distortion. So that's just a sampling of five fun, cool effects in the distort folder in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you want to check out more videos on my channel, I've covered literally every single effect in Premiere Pro, so you can go through all of them one by one more detailed, and hopefully this gave you some fun and cool ideas for your next video editing project. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.